Hey guys, welcome back to another WordPress tutorial. This is Joseph from JoseMastery.com and in this WordPress tutorial we're going to be learning uh, the, basically the basic file structure and yeah, let's get started. So first things first, we're going to go to our um, file explorer. We're going to go localhost, xampp, htdocs and we're going to find our wordpress um, folder that we created in the last episode and we're going to go wp contents themes because we want to create our own custom theme and i'm just going to expand this here and you can see we have three default um, folders now these are our default themes for that wordpress gives us so we want to make our own custom one so i'm going to go right click new folder name the theme whatever you like in this case i'm going to call it retro and now you've created kind of like your own theme but you have nothing inside it so now we're going to create um the main fold uh files so we're going to go to our favorite text editor i suggest sublime text as it is among the best uh, i'll leave a link to the download file in the description it's free um so yeah we're going to go file open folder all right and i'm already in the retro theme um you should be you might not be but basically you want to go into the theme and select it and then click select folder so now you're you're inside the uh, directory and now you want to click Control n to create a new file and basically the four main files that you need to create are index.php style.css header.php and footer.php now these um, files are very important in uh, they're like a part of the WordPress theme so we're going to go once we cr uh, click control N create a new file uh, click control S or file save I like using shortcuts and here we're going to go back to local disk and find it docs, WordPress themes retro so we're going to call this index.php. Now the index.php file is basically like our body of our site. So this is like the middle. Um, we're just going to write some really basic code. And the first code is uh, get, uh, open our PHP tags. And then we're going to type in a get underscore header. And then close it off. So you can just copy this code. And basically what this is telling you to is asking WordPress to uh, get the header.php file and basically put it there. So then underneath here, uh, you should guess it, it's get footer. And yeah, that's pretty much the basics of this theme. So I'm going to click Control S to save it and I'm going to create a new file. Now this file, it's going to be called style.css. Um, now this one is, this uh, file is where we add all the styling to our HTML code. And we're going to add some code here first that will tell WordPress some information about our WordPress theme. So we're going to go theme name is uh, retro. And then author, I'm going to call this uh, Joe's Mastery. And then we can do an author link. So author URI. Oops. In this case, uh, I'm just gonna put in my website. And I think that's enough. I think you can do version 1.0. I'm not too sure about that, but yeah, it's good enough. I want to save it. And then the next file, Control N, uh, save it. We're gonna call this header. Dot PHP. I'll make another one, and this is our final uh, file for dot PHP. So now we've basically got the default, and just to test things out, we're just going to type in here "hello world." Save it. We're going to go to our browser, and here we're going to go to our local host. Uh, whoops, it's called WordPress, I think. Wait for it to load. Here we go. 
All right, so you can see here that we're still in our default theme and we want to switch over to the theme we just created. So we're going to hover over this WordPress development, click themes. And you can see now we have a theme that says retro. So we're going to click on it and you can see it says by Joe's Mastery, which is the author we provided them. And if we click on that, it'll link to the my website. So we're just going to click activate. And now it's activated, so I'm going to go visit site. And you can see this is Hello World, just like we inputted before. So now that we've got our theme working, um, in the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys, we're going to be starting a bit of the index.php, a bit of the header.php, and if we have time, some of the footer. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.